uh, we often say that we're the cheapest um, self-help. We're a lot cheaper than a counselor or a shrink. Mm. We are self-supporting. Every group is independently self-supporting. We do ask a dollar donation per person per meeting. Right. There, uh, not only do we get sober, we have to have, do a big word called responsibility mm -hmm. that we usually ran from, <laughs> or <Exactly>. I did. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but, you know, rent has to be paid, lights have to be on. AA is known for its pots, endless pots of coffee. Mm. Coffee has to be bought, cups have to be bought, trash has to be taken out, trash bags, you know, on and on and on. We have to get, uh, in order for the group to survive, it has to have basics. Mm. Just like if you were home, you'd have to have lights, water, that type of thing, just basics. Right. And uh, getting people interested in uh, donating that dollar in the basket is usually uh, time consuming. Mm. Uh, we're not used to giving anything away. Mm. We're not used to doing anything for anyone. Uh, one, one of the beauties about the program is that when uh, someone comes in, and they sit down in a chair and they declare they're an alcoholic. We know 80 to 90 percent of their life story. Mm -hmm. um, everyone that comes in, we know they're very prideful people, they're stubborn people, they have an ego, mm -hmm. they're a con artist, they're a liar, and they're some of the smartest people you ever meet in your life. Exactly. Uh, they're survivors. Mm. They've made it that far to get into a chair. What is an average of the people that attend these meetings? You know, average number of people. Oh, and there is no average. Uh, we go with a meeting when there's four or five sitting there. We go with a meeting when we don't have enough chairs for people to sit in. Oh, exactly. There is no average. Um, when the weather's cooler, we have more members. They can't be out uh, fishing. Uh, Mm -hmm. Playing in the parks, this type of thing. Usually when weather's cooler, we have higher numbers, but not necessarily. How long have you been involved in this program? Uh, I carry a 25-year chip. If I make it to February, I'll pick up 26. And the reason why I say if I make it to February is that every day of my life, I have a choice. Every day of my life, I decide, am I going to pick up a drink today mm -hmm. am I, or another substance? Um, I really... Hope and pray I don't. I remember how bad, bad got. And, but I have that choice every day. If uh, we finish this interview and I decide I want a drink now, mm -hmm. then I go and get one. Hopefully I won't make that decision. Ho so far, nothing has been bad enough or interesting enough <laughs> for me to pick up. And um, if you stay around the tables long enough, other people will do it for you. Exactly, yes. Uh, I've seen other people go back, and by the grace of God, if they make it back to the rooms, because not all of them make it back, if they make it back, they've got consequences, they look horrible, um, they threw away more of their life, they mm -hmm. did this. I have never, ever heard one of them say, gee, I had a great time. Mm -hmm. Uh New people, um, when they don't know their knee from their elbow yet, mm -hmm. I, I strongly recommend that they hush and listen for a while, but that's not how our egos work. We want to just take charge, and we want to tell you everything that we know when we don't know scoot. Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, when I came in the program, they hurt my feelings a lot by telling me to shut up. Uh, how dare they? You know, I had all this knowledge. I had all this wisdom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I did is I knew how to drink. I knew how to party. I did not know how to stay sober. Have you noticed that there's a lot of people that genuinely want free, but they have such a hard time of breaking this hold? It's like I've even seen people pour out the alcohol and know, say, I'm quitting this. I'm stopping this. And then before the end of the day, they're out buying more. In my experience, no. They make a great show. Mm -hmm. uh, they get the attention they want. Mm -hmm. If they truly wanted to stop, then they would get to a treatment. They would get to a meeting. They would get away. They wouldn't be running out a few hours later buying another bottle. Very good. You know, Very good. There's a variety of help. Um, 
churches, religion. Some people can do it with that. It didn't work for me. Uh, program calls it, I was sprinkled in depth seven times, mm -hmm. and it didn't take. <laughs> mm. You know, I wish it had. Uh, the people that can make it in churches, they uh, bless their hearts. The people that can quit for the sake of their families, bless their hearts. Uh, it didn't work for me. The meetings worked for me. 